Okay, starting off turn number nine with Arjun. He's down, so we're going to have to use a healing surge to bring him back up. So he uses the token, and he's back up with five. That's his surge value. So Arjun springs back into action. And he's adjacent to that ghoul, and we'd like to get that off the table if possible. He missed horribly last last time he tried to attack it, but he'll go again with the Tide of Iron. And he got an 8. I think that's enough to hit. 8 and 8 is 16. Yep, yeah, it just hits. So it's really close, but he was able to hit and kill it. So that's going to be another stack of 5 experience. So we have 2 stacks of 5 now. So the ghoul goes down. So he attacked. He killed, so he does get to draw a treasure. So let's see what kind of treasure Arjun gets. And surround them. This is a blessing. Blessings don't count as treasure items. So this isn't one of our 12. Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes on his or her tile. Okay. So we'll place that out here so that hopefully we can remember we have it. And let's surround them. So underneath of uh, blessings and conditions, I'll write that down. Surround them so that I remember that it expires at the end of his next hero phase. So we did take out the ghoul. So let's get it off the table. Now Arjun can move his full speed. So we'll have Arjun move. We'll have him move over here. So he's got plenty of speed for that. He can move five, so he can go one. Uh, you remember, you can move through heroes, so clearly he's got enough speed to get over here. And so he attacked. He did all that. So now he is on an unexplored edge. He's going to explore. And we got a black tile, so we'll have an encounter. But first, draw a new monster. Yeah, it's a wraith. I, I had a bad feeling about that. Now, unfortunately, Alyssa controls the wraith, and Arjun just drew a wraith. And this is the worst that can happen. And you can't cancel monsters. So, wraith. Yes. Wraith. The big problem with this is that every monster of the same name activates. So that's this is gonna kill us, most likely. So during Arjun's turn, his Wraith activates, then Alyssa's Wraith activates. And during Alyssa's turn, her Wraith activates, then his Wraith activates. So that sucks. But, let's see, um, now the encounter. Yeah, we haven't done the encounter yet. Let's see what kind of fun we get here. Um, actually, what was that? Okay, we haven't done that. So, Choking Fog, attack each hero on the active hero's tile. Uh, we're going to cancel that, because we're both on the tile, and it's going to do damage either way. And, yeah, let's cancel that. So, 5 EXP. Three and two is five. Put that over there. Now the real pain begins. So Arjun's Wraith is going to activate. So if it's within one tile, it is. It's going to move to the closest hero and attack that hero. So it's going to move. Again, you know, the way I interpret the rules is bone pile to bone pile whenever possible. And since that's going to make... Because now some people, would, what they would do is they would go here because that moves the Wraith adjacent and there's a big advantage to doing that the big advantage to doing that is if you kill a wraith they have a death shriek and when the monster is destroyed each hero on its tile takes one damage so if i'm able to kill the wraith from across the tile boundary i don't take damage but in my opinion the rules clearly state that monsters move pile to pile whenever like basically always and then if if you have to make them adjacent to make it work, then you move them from the pile in whichever way you have to to make them adjacent. In, in my opinion, that is clearly how the rules are written. 
Anyway, it's gonna get a plus six. It's gonna do damage either way. Pretty sure we're just dead this round, but let's just go through the motion. So it's a one, so it actually is gonna miss. So it missed Arjun, but Arjun takes one damage, bringing him down to four. Now Alyssa's Wraith activates, and it's closer to Alyssa, so it will attack Alyssa with Life Draining Claws with that plus six. And that's going to be a nine plus six is 15. And that's just enough to hit Alyssa. We'll go ahead and use the Lucky Charm to re-roll that. And got a one this time, so that was a good re-roll. So Alyssa's going to take uh, one damage, bringing her down to two. And that will be the end of... Arjun's turn number nine, and the beginning of Alyssa's turn number nine. Now, Alyssa is going to have to try and do something here. Problem is, let's see. Attack one and use a monster. this instead of attacking just deal with that stuff's not that good dragon's breath attack each monster and it doesn't count as an attack all right we'll do that so we'll start with this so first she's going to attack her wraith so we'll roll for her wraith and we'll roll again for arjun's wraith so this does not count as an attack. So plus four on her wraith. We need to roll pretty high. I threw it off the table. Uh, it's a 16. So that's high enough to hit. So it does one damage to her wraith. Now we're gonna roll again for Arjun's wraith. And that's a three, that's gonna miss. Uh, so that's only a three plus four, seven. So we used it, it's gone. So it's gonna go into our pile of treasure items. Does not count as an attack. Um, so now instead of attacking, we can use this, which is really equivalent to uh, using her careful attack. But what I think she probably should do is she should probably take down her wraith just to get it off the table. The problem is, since we're both on that tile, the Death Shriek, when this monster is destroyed, each hero takes one damage. But, I mean, I've pretty much given up hope on this, on winning this game, so we're just going to do that. But she's just going to use her careful attack to do the other ping of damage to the Wraith. So it's gone. So that Wraith is gone, so at least... We won't have a double activation during her villain phase, but again, we both take one damage because of the Death Shriek. So Arjun goes down to three. Alyssa goes down to one. Her Wraith is gone. So let's update what's happened here. So she did not use a token. She did attack. She did kill, so she does get treasure. So let's see what kind of treasure she gets. Of course, it's not an item. Play immediately. This card counts as experience. Okay, so this just goes into our experience pile. Let's see, whenever. Daily power. She hasn't used a daily power. She used an item and until the end of the next. Gains a bonus. Mm, that would not have given her a big enough bonus when I attacked the other wraith. So, so let's see what's left to do. So she can move. I guess she can either explore here using scout. She can move here or here, then use scout. 
I don't know what to do. I mean, it, I, just, I feel like it doesn't matter at this point. We're just going to have her move over to this tile in Scout. So that's a white. So we will get a monster. Let's go ahead and draw that. It's a ghoul. Let's place on the ghoul. Put it on the bone pile of the newly drawn tile. And let's update for Alyssa. So she did move. She did explore. She got a white. She got a ghoul. Uh, no encounter. Her wraith is gone, but the ghoul will activate. And the ghoul is not adjacent, so it's going to move adjacent. So bone pile to bone pile. And then attack Alyssa with claws. Does one damage. If it hits, game's over. And that's a hit. That's a 14. 14 plus 7 does 1 damage and immobilizes her, but it doesn't matter because she's done, and we've used both of our healing surges. The rules do state, the rules do state that you can use a third healing surge if you want to make the game a bit easier on yourself, but I don't really want to go through the motions. I feel like there's no way where you only have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so we still have to get 4 more items without getting killed a, a fourth time because you know you can't use and you, you it says you can use a third healing surge but that's it so we would have to get four more treasure items deal with monsters and encounters make it back to the star tile i just don't see there's any way that happening so that's going to be the end of adventure number four and we didn't make it